Brian, Brian and Vinny. It's me, it's Vinny, mm. and uh, on the couch together we have got uh, Mark and Sean. I didn't know you got Hardy to write your new theme song. Oh, get out of here. The Men's Royal Rumble I thought was very good. Outstanding. I thought the last three minutes of the Women's Royal Rumble was good. And I thought the post-match angle was excellent. So you can watch this whole show in about maybe an hour and a half. The actual show itself went four hours and 15 minutes. You're not your usual bombastic, nutty, crazy self You're this year. You're fucking over here just screaming yeah, you, at some... What, you never heard this show before? Yes, Brian. All I've right. been on this show for the last, I don't know, fucking But here's years. a question for you, Mark. Oh, my God. How many times they made a bang bros joke <laughs> when Drew McIntyre and Sheamus were in the ring together? Anybody count? I just remember the time McAfee referred to them as the Brothers of Bang. <laughs> the Brothers of Bang. Well, they went out with a bang, didn't they? they sure Shut did. up, Brian. They sure they did. Shut the fuck up. But I mean, they did. <laughs> I thought it was one of the best rumbles they've ever done. It was exciting for 70 plus minutes, and uh, everything had a purpose. There was star power throughout, and like I say, it set up like a half dozen Mania matches. This was outstanding stuff. My favorite uh, Mania match that they set up in the men's match was uh, Kofi versus the Rolling Chair. Because, oh, yeah, yeah, it happened again. He did it again. Somebody did something off the barricade through a table, and, like, shit flies in the air that's all glowing in the dark. Everybody's been waiting for this motherfucker to come back and do some spooky-ass shit, and they wait until fucking January to put him in a soda match. A fucking soda match, Brian! Get the fuck out of here! (laughs) I'm not so happy, thank you, guys. And, oh, but I'm mad. But I'm a bad guy. But I'm going to get you. And then, oh, but thank you so much. I'm, oh, I'm going to get you. They recreated when Seth turned on the shield. And that was Roman Reigns is standing did, there. actually. And Sammy's got the chair. And, uh, and he swings all right. Great storytelling. Could not stop watching. Loved it. When Sammy hit Roman with the chair, you could hear like the, the, the mics are popping. It was so loud that their microphone system was having trouble recording it and broadcasting it to you at home. It was too loud for their equipment. So it's Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn in Montreal. Jay. Answer man will say, ring the fucking bell. Jay is the one who fucks Sami, costs him the match, he turns on him, and then all of the bloodline are destroying Sami when Kevin Owens, who we have not seen since this moment here at the Rumble, he runs out in his fucking hometown and he makes a save for... Sami Zayn, and you shift the heat to Jay, Jay and Jimmy. So now the fans want to see Kevin and Sami as a team beat the Usos at WrestleMania, and they're not getting mad at Cody anymore. You know, when Triple H took over, and like all I've been hearing, you know, people are like, it's so much better now that Triple H is in charge. I'm like, I just saw the same old shit, man. Well, I got my uh, Invisalign in right now. Look at that. You don't even notice? You can barely tell because it's invisible. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? (laughs) I didn't get that one. (laughs) (laughs) Knock, knock, who's there? (laughs) Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown That's not how knock, knock jokes work! (laughs) We Bailey? (laughs) What does that mean? She's small? It's we barely made it home. Oh, we barely made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doody, doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get it. What? See, these, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. Why did the referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was on duty. Oh, that's it. He was on oh. duty. That's oh not God. what you said. No, that's more than enough for this week, Randy. <laughs> that's more than enough. I read that all wrong, didn't I? <laughs> WWE is. Is better than it used to be. Yeah, they're on fire, brother. So I'm going to Mania. I think I'm I'm in a hotel two miles away. So I may just walk. Sam says he's two miles away as well. Well, Sam, maybe we'll walk together. Sam's good people. 
He's a fine person. We'll see about that, won't we? And unfortunately, Lanny Poffo has passed away, who in some ways was a regular on this show, even though he actually wasn't. <laughs> and then the story of the Christmas show, and you heard Lanny's call. To Vinny Verhey. 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 Opens with John Moxley and Hangman Page. Moxley comes to the ring accompanied by Daddy Mox. Have you been to the Twitter of Filthy Tom Lawler? This darts choke superplex from John Moxley was the shit. The way he locks his hands, using Hangman's left shoulder to apply pressure to the left carotid artery, while Moxley's right radius cuts off the blood supply to the right side. Did you watch that Jamie Hayter match on Rampage? Did you watch that match? I have not watched that match. Go home. Mm. No, like, go home right now. Gladly. This act is so over, dude. Like, maybe this was planned a long time ago and they're just sticking to it, but I don't know. I don't think it's the right idea to break them up right now. It appears to be the end of Jungle Hook. See, I don't like it because uh, I like the team. And they were finally doing something with Hook. It is funny that Takeshita loses, 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 loses. Finally beats Brian Cage. And everyone's like, oh, man, he's beating MGF next week. Uh, Renee was wearing a red dress. This bright red dress was hard to miss, okay? All I cared about was how many takes did this take. <laughs> and as the kids say, nothing but net. So I was hoping it would, it would have been a one-take wonder, but it was not. This was basically a Josh Barnett blood sport match here on AEW. You know, I've been watching wrestling a long fucking time. And I have seen a lot of merch. And I don't think I've ever seen someone attempt to sell a button-up dress shirt. Licensed. But it is now for sale. Main event, Samoa Joe and Darby Allen. They sure do like to do insane things, don't they? The Creeds were, were in a car one day. And uh, one of the people in the car happened to turn on our show. Oh. Yes. And we were reviewing a... Why would any wrestler do that? I was surprised. But go ahead. We were reviewing a Creed's match. Oh, no. And apparently the crews were, like, mortified. They were like, these guys really don't like us. I love the Creed's. They scare the shit out of me. And they were really green when they first got on television because they started this NXT 2.0 and all these guys who weren't ready got brought up. But uh, I, I like the Creed's. I, I kind of feel bad now that they thought we didn't like them. Tyler Bate turns to Axiom and says, you know, you remind me of a kid. And Axiom says, I get that a lot. It's because of my eyes. You know, they have to have Tyler Bate, like, look right at his mask. Like, I can't see your fucking eyes. That's silly you would say that. It's a fan in a red Hulkamania muscle shirt with no muscles. And when he's thanked for his chaotic support, he stands up like this. And he looks around, and he is the only one standing, and he sits back down. God. I pissed myself laughing. <laughs> That's when Roxanne sprints in, tackles them both, screaming like a lunatic, destroying the set. This was unreal. This was such great stuff. This guy is always in this fucking outfit. You never see him at the supermarket out of character in, in a skit. He's always Andre Chase. And he's a good worker. And he's gotten this chase you thing over. These fans fucking love it. But I'm excited for Vengeance Day. I think NXT, you know, it, there are highs and lows, and the promos are goofy. But I, I like this show. <laughs>